with the release of firmware 1.1, one of the neat things you can do with the Mimic is you can actually plug it into a PlayStation 4 controller, a DS4 controller, and it allows you to have control of pan, tilt, and roll on the gimbal, as well as focus, iris, and zoom. So I'm going to dive in and talk about some of the specifics and how you can set that up. All right, so with the gamepad, you have the ability to adjust the pan and tilt speed using the D-pad. You can control the pan and tilt using the joystick. You can set it up so that these, these uh, triggers up on top of the DS4 actually control roll, which is pretty fun. So in addition to being able to control pan and tilt with the joystick, by using this options button here, we can actually toggle through what we'll be controlling with R2 and L2. So right now I've got it set up on roll, but now I've switched it to focus. And you can see as I actuate those buttons, I'm actually controlling focus, which is pretty fun. And then you can put an additional control on this left joystick. So right now I've got roll on the left joystick. Now it's iris on the left joystick. So basically with the DS4 PlayStation controller, you have the ability to control pan, tilt, and roll, and focus iris and zoom if you want to set it up for a specific shot, which is really fun. Uh, just a kind of a miniature Movi controller that's super cheap and ready to travel the world with you. So a few tips for being successful with Mimic and GamePad. Um, first of all, on the mounting, we've just bought a accessory phone mount for a PlayStation controller and drilled a hole in it to allow us to mount the Mimic to it. It's working pretty well. These are cheap little add-on that you can get. Uh, first tip is sometimes you'll you'll put roll on the on the analog inputs the R2 and L2 and you'll get roll away out of whack but you, then you'll want to shoot a shot where the roll is level. Best way to get roll back to level is to cycle through dual to majestic and when you cycle through it'll reset roll. Uh, another tip from Hugh while operating, if you use the D-pad to take the tilt speed down to about 20% and keep the pan speed up at 60 or 80%. It allows you to do nice smooth pans um, without getting unintended tilts in the shot. So we find the split of about 60 to 20 or 80 to 20 to be about the right move. You're usually doing a much faster pan than you would a tilt. So that split allows, allows us to get good shots with this thing. Um, I think those are a couple tips that will get you off, get you off and running with this. It's uh, really fun. We're excited to see people playing with it.